God damn, this shit good. What happened with that dog? Damn, so good. Damn. Let's see what part was I on? Oh, this part. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? You gonna play the piano all night? God, no. I wanna actually attend this thing. Then how? You've never seen a record player? Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. See you on the other side. That's what Clem says to me sometimes when she needs me to be brave. Well, I think we all need some of that right now. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. Look, check this out. When you turn that crank there, it plays music. And he can pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. You guys have any classical? You bet. Ha. Ah, a woman after my own heart. The fuck? Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Hmm. Well, purple was my dad's favorite color. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. That describes us exactly not at all. I'll make it happen. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. I don't want to uh, discourage you, but we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, 
I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this will work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Hey! Man, I fucked this shit up. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his. Damn, nice and water. Special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Uh... How about Mitch's masterpiece? Yeah, I like that. Mitch would have too. Okay, then it's settled. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How'd you guess that? <laughs> it's the red hair. Dead giveaway. I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. <sighs> no way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. 
Willie, I speak for all what of us when I say fuck? nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? Uh uh, don't you dare. <laughs> Uh, anyway, maybe we should change up the music? <laughs> well, like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. What up, Cody? I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie, Lamar? Erin. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Damn! Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted, when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? Oh, so Lord. I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. You know... Those two would have been happily married forever, but then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. Damn! God, bro! What I the hell? I never knew that. The week after. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said oh, it. Hold up. I gotta check something. The hell? What's that? Oh! Oh! Okay, how much is it? Oh, it's almost done.
Self. Clem needs to know who she I'm checking. She's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, oh, she no. could sing the words. But yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. Idea, bro. This is for you, Minnie. I know who that bitch is. Oh, oh, oh! That's the, that's who it is. I think. Is it? Yeah, the other one died in combat, so that is who it is. Hello, Johnny. Come on. I swear to God, bruh. I swear to God, don't don't make me do this again. Hold on. You f oh, man. Okay. Mm. No, not this damn song, bro. That shit reminds me.
like that, please. Oh, I got an idea. Oh, by the way. Please, bro, I don't want to know. Oh, what the hell do I do? No, it's this part. Hey, sweet pea. We? Oh! Damn, this is sad, bro. Why is that so sad? Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Uh, couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? <laughs> well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? 
I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get what your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine how Violet will feel when she finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee? I miss you so much. Damn, bro! I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. Oh, yeah, you go his arm. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. AJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Damn, bro! God! This is so sad! Damn, bro! You don't gotta do it. You, you don't gotta do everyone like that, bro. God damn, bro. Bro, when, when did he put this in the game, bro? Oh, that's one of these. When did he put this in the game, bro? Wow. Just look at you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Just look at you. But I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. Damn, you, bro! Oh no, bro. Why is that an actual thing in the game, bro? It's cool. Sad, bro. Wake up. It's time to go. How the hell is he up and I how the fuck is he yeah, up and is he not up?
Oh no, no, not this part. I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um... Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Um, Clementine, I'll speak to you alone <laughs> for a moment. Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. The walkers, they'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Maybe one day you'll be the same. Listen, Clementine. I need to talk to you about AJ. What do you mean? The Whisperers were my family. From a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison. And I believed in that fiercely. So much so that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. What the fuck did I look at that? Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That's... that's kind of hard to believe. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. right after he died i kept hearing his words in my head those people are like us just on a different path i stopped killing after that i changed and no one else did oh shit he told me he killed someone it reminded me of them of myself he said it was wrong but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told taking life like that from a young age it breaks something inside you. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. Don't tell me how to raise him. I'm the one who's kept him alive this long, not you. I'm trying to help you save him. It's just some advice. From someone who's been there too. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Thank you. And take care of AJ. Okay, he's ready to go. The walkers are getting close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ten, 
take care of the supplies. And I'm in charge of the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll Is be that a Fritos? The ash and stuff. Put it in there. That's yeah, Fritos on the bomb. Explosive diarrhea. When I heard my other pellet, what the hell? See you all on the other I side. I lost it. I'll cut it open. Lewis told me about Minnie. Ah. Uh. Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just. If you see her out there, tell her. Tell her I forgive her. Please. I tell her myself, but. I just want her to be okay. Yeah, sure. If we see her, I'll let her know. Thanks. Definitely. I won't kill her. Yeah, hold up, pause, pause, pause. Oh. It's really happening, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Other people's lives are depending on us, depending on me. You're depending on me to What if something happens to you, Clem? What if What if I can't? I don't know. I can't carry that the rest of my life. I wouldn't have asked you to come with me if I didn't believe in you. Seriously, Lewis, I mean it. Ah, Just shit. believe me until you believe yourself, okay? All right. Though I don't know if that's as easy as you think it is. <sighs> okay, I'll try. But what if I just get us caught, too? All it would take is one little screw-up, and I'd screw up all the time. Uh, all right, come on, Lewis. Get it together. I need you to slap me. Help pull me out of this. Right here. Yes, sir! That calmed you down, didn't you? I, I can't tell if I feel more focused or less. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, my! Oh, you're older. Go look in another direction. Oh, my! It's ready. Oh, oh, we're not doing what I think we are. That depends. What do you think we're doing? Oh, God, we are. It'll help us blend in with the walkers. There. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> there. You know, walker blood is one of the hardest stains to get out. You owe me some new clothes. We gonna do it? We're doing it. All right, okay. let's do I'm this. My lead. Here we 
we go. Stay behind the walkers. Use them as shields. Leaving cover, but we'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. Oh, that bitch is alive. Get me. The guts are coming off. Oh no, why is he glitching now? Oh, why is he glitching? No, oh, come me. on. This way. Under the sea. There is zombies under the water. What the fuck? Up, 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 up. You okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Nice. Stay close. Stay hidden. I just walk. Around. You okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Wait, 
Ocean bit. Me, you got no chance, okay? Me, bit. Bit. And get the. Again? Nah, this shit good. We're getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, it would be kinda hard. I was too late with my choices, god damn it. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I wanna knock him out or kill him. Don't kill him. Wait here. Mitch's masterpiece. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, just a short, scarred face. Is he? He's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. Get out. Not with 
about our people. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. Go see for yourself. He's outside. You brought him here? We kept him away from the fighting. He's safe. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. I never want to see you again. Come on, we have to hurry. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Get Violet first. She needs to know you're here. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Doreen comes back. Lewis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Violet. Violet. What the fuck, Minnie? Clem! Get in the cell. Are now. you fucking serious? I will kill you. Don't touch me. Minnie, you don't know. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again, or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave Man, me out of it. You built like Shrek. Staying here that long. Clem, are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here. <sighs> Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? <sighs> We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Lewis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through.
Come on. Fuck off. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. You should have never attacked us, Lily. Your mission was a bad idea from the start, and you failed. And you're still mouthing off, despite being in a cell. That'll change. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. I always hated your dad. Right from the start, <laughs> when he tried to throw Duck out of that drugstore we were hiding in. He never gave a damn about what people thought of him. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson?
I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting, or they'd lose everything they built. Their crops, their power, even their lives. Kidnapping people and forcing them to fight? Sounds like slavery to me. Call it whatever you want. They were helping each other survive. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a raft and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Minnie, you... what the fuck? Is that true? Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one, or the dead one? You, you brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door. I'll be the one who breaks out at night and cuts your throat while you sleep. <sighs> kind of what I expected you to say. But you'll see, I'm not kidding around. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. No! They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still. No, 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 please, come. Don't make this hurt more than it has to. AJ, no! Oh my god, fuck, please, no! <laughs> oh! You think you can kill me? I know I can. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Bang. And hey, that's gonna happen. So you killed Marlin. I bet you'd make a great soldier. AJ, listen to me. Don't talk to her, okay? She's a monster. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clementine! AJ! A what? A... 37 mile drive? Keep Where the fuck is Juan at? Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. 
Don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem friendly enough. Don't ever understand what happened. What the fuck are you doing? Happened. You're gonna get us you all killed. You work there. Well, I'm uh, here next to Fuck you! <coughs> what the hell are you doing? <coughs> Stop! Boom! Dumbass! Ah, oh, bitch! Behind you! You're the fucking problem here! Oh! See you on land. You will. Good thing I didn't. I'm pretty sure that was the other route. Oh my god, this part, this part, this part, this part. Am I really that close? Shit, they started the boiler. We'll focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty You'll of come food, around too, comfortable once you see what we have to offer. You can even share a room. Plenty of food, comfortable beds for you. One more you can even share a room. Ducks. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am, you wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. <clears throat> no wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! What the fuck? Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shoot her! Shut the bitch! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. Oh my All god, oh my 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 god. Fine, go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. Oh, That's what you came here to do, isn't it? Oh, he's still with a pussy, bro. <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. 
Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, bitch, bitches. AJ, get the gun. That's what you always cut your hair short. He told you, bitch. You son of a bitch! Bitch! Come on, you bitch! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up! Ah, oh, shit, fuck. Oh, keep tapping! Fuck. Oh, damn. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Yes! Shoot the bitch! Shoot the bitch! AJ, shoot the bitch! Put shoot the bitch! Inside. I'll let everyone leave. My no, fuck you! Leave. Shoot the bitch! It won't bother you anymore. Oh. AJ, she's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She cut off my friend's finger in front of us. Shoot the bitch! You don't have to shoot the fucking play. bitch! It's a trick. Don't you shoot the bitch. Care, AJ. Shoot the bitch, bro! Shoot the bitch! Shoot it! Just give me the gun. You can't let her hurt anyone else. Do it, AJ! Shoot the bitch! Yeah! Fuck you! No. Yeah! Yeah! Keep shooting her! Empty that clip! Fuck! Fuck that bitch, bro! Holy shit! Lily, couldn't find the other. What did you do? You're fucking dead. Ah, oh, shit. The bomb. Shit, the bomb. AJ! Oh! I know where to stand in. Oh. Okay, then. Next episode. Ooh, this is getting good. Let's see. You and AJ. Poor pilgrim of sorrow Cast out in this wide world to okay, okay. roam Uncertain of life for tomorrow okay. I want to make heaven my home Sometimes I am tossed and driven oh, okay. Stop Sometimes I know not where to huh? go and what happens to city like if you don't kill her, what happens? I'm striving to make it my home. I have a few days yet to wander, a few more hard battles to fight. No comfort I find in the daylight. The storms are descending each night Sometimes I'm both tossed and driven Sometimes I know not where to roam I heard of a city called heaven Damn! What's next? Oh, oh my god, I'm so ready for this bro! After I gotta play the DLC. Last.
Wow. Oh my god, that was such a good fucking ending! Holy shit! But... Oh Last man. time on The Walking Come Dead. Come on, just, just get over it. Get, get, Since yeah. I can remember, oh. Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to always aim for the head, to atone when I did something bad. To show mercy, sometimes. I always listen to Clem. Always. But I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. When Clem told me to shoot Lily, I got mad. So mad. I don't... I don't know what I feel anymore. I don't know if Clem knows either. But I remember all the rules. And the first one... is never go alone. What set is the card? They even see what the fuck was it called? What was the episode called? Fuck! Oh uh, shit. What's the other ending? I mean, if you're a killer, what happens? I wonder what could fucking happen. Wow. Where are we? Oh shit, oh shit, I can't It take over. No, we don't. Huh? Oh, please, quick! Huh? Come on, Clem. 
Damn, bro, so good. Sometimes I don't know where to start a road. Hmm. It's taking me. Sometimes I don't know the reason why. So I guess I'll keep gambling lots of moves and lots of rain. I did. Thanks. I owe you one. I'm pretty sure I owe you quite a few more. Get the fuck off of me! Oh my god. 
Violet! Clem, where are you? Lewis, get over here! She's hurt! Where's Minnie? What? I don't know. We headed towards the boiler room to stop the bomb, and I just... Whoa, slow down! You're... Where is she? Lewis! Okay, Vi. We've got you. Come on. Oh, shit. Can you... Can you see? I don't. Just... Don't let go of me, okay? Clem! Shit. We can't stay here. Thank God. You guys made it. That's a whole lot of monsters. And more coming by the minute. Stay cool. We knew this would happen. Violet, are your eyes fucked up? They're fucked up. We just have to get off this beach. Look! I brought the cart around. Ruby! Willie! Come on! Get out of here! There's no end to these little shits! Put them down! Oh, shit! Club, do something! Behind you. The second I see an opening, I'll make a break for it. Clementine, the stuff I said on the boat in the cell, I uh, worry about that later. I thought you can't see. How are you going? Be careful. AJ, go with him. No, I'm staying with you. Thanks, kiddo. Sorry, bro, but no, that's not happening. Stunt, stunt, stunt! 
son! Oh shit, why am I walking? to move we'll have to squeeze through there we don't know where it goes well we do know there's walkers in the other direction but move it dummy i saw his eyes when he did it i saw the bloodlust in them what are you talking about nothing go dark in here. We can't move forward without a way to see. I'll figure something out. Okay, stick. Stick. Okay. I need some way to start a fire. AJ can play with it. Hmm. I need some way to start a fire. It's so dark in here. I'm working on it. It doesn't feel safe. There's too much danger outside. I wish I had a gun. We'll be out of here soon. If they get in here, I'm going to have to kill them. I don't want to do that. Before you know it. Hmm, too far for us to jump across. There must be something we can use as a bridge. Oh, if I yank that out of there, it would drift down the river and get caught in the rocks. Could work as a bridge. We 
just need to go across one by one, and then we'll move the rocks out of the way. And then I'll take... Which way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. Oh! Clem! But it's not too late. Let go! For him, at least. <laughs> Follow us and I sprain your ankle. Follow us after that, I break your leg. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. Not any further. You're fucking crazy! I've warned you once. I won't do it again. Oh, I'll take my chances. <laughs> I'll kill you before I leave her. <sighs> you did this! You made him this way! You had him empty an entire clip into that woman's head! It was only half a clip. Yeah. Is this what you wanted? A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel. Look at me. And tell me this is what you wanted. Take this guilt trip of yours and shove it up your ass. Oh, ouch. I've told you before. You don't get to tell me how to raise him. strong. I don't care if it was murder. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Maybe ever. Alvin Jr., 
That is not what I taught you. Not about how you feel, how you treat people, how you think. I'm teaching myself now. The wrong lessons. Says you. I never taught you to find joy in killing. AJ, you can't really believe that. Please, think about what you're saying. Stay out of this or I swear I'll claw your fucking Neither eyes out. Neither of you are listening. Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead. And I'm not sorry about it. And I'm not gonna feel bad about it. AJ, you say you didn't teach me this when you did. You always said surviving was the most important thing. Be strong, be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head. Killing Lily made us safe. There's nothing wrong with liking that. I can't listen to this. You think you can change him? Do it then. Talk to him. I'm not gonna stop, Clem. I I'm not gonna let people that wanna hurt us just walk around. You can't tell me to stop and expect me to get it. You can't tell me to stop when you know it just confuses me. I know this world is hard. For us, for you especially, killing is making you lose yourself. So I won't let you kill again. You told me to kill Lily in the first place. <sighs> AJ, cool it. Why did you tell me to kill someone that you hate and then change your mind? Just listen. You're not able to process what it really means. Not yet. I don't even know what process means. Exactly. We've got a lot to work on, the two of us. I mean, you're just a little kid. So are you. What? You're a kid too, Clem. You try to act big all the time so I don't think about it, but you are. Maybe we both can't process it. Maybe. What happens when you've got a rifle pointed at your head in the woods? Or we get attacked by a bunch of aliens? Yo! I Stop. will never not protect you, Clem. What you're asking, it might get us killed. And I won't let that happen. I need you to hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. Even Lily. I've heard enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. just don't understand who we are. I understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. All you know is violence, death. He can live a peaceful life, but, but it's like you won't let him. It might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans. Not walkers! James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human! It's what will keep any of us human! It's just reckless! The world we live in, the way you think, is dangerous! No one can survive like this! Open your eyes, James! The world isn't as simple as you like to make it sound! So what is it, then? It may not be kill or be killed, but it's awful goddamn close. <laughs> we were gonna 
I'll find my own way. Next time you need help, ask someone else. Clem, what is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my... You fag. What the fuck are you singing? <laughs> I'm on the last episode of season four. I'm streaming, but I, I got you. There. <laughs> what the hell? No. Uh, how do you...